Welcome back to Site Tech Inner Mountain training videos. In these training videos for SiteWorks, Trimble SiteWorks is the surveying platform that came out not too long ago that replaced SCS 900. Um, in these training videos, I'm going to start out with the basics of how SiteWorks even looks, what program types it has, and the differences. Um, in some of these other videos, I'm also going to show how to export the designs the models, the different types of file types that can go into SiteWorks. And we'll work all the way through site calibrations into um, site setups completely, um, how to build models inside the data collector, how to work all the basic functions. But in this video, I just wanted to show what SiteWorks is all about just at a glance. If you have never used SiteWorks or you're currently a user of the old TSC3s or the TSC2s that are running SCS900, I wanted to just show this as a glance. In the next video, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison to, to show you the differences and if you're transitioning into SiteWorks out of the older one. But at a glance, when you open up it up the SiteWorks program, it's very basic. It's just like the older one. So you've got your projects on the left, work orders, and designs. I will break all those down in other videos. But as soon as you come into the program, I just wanted to show you the main screen layout and some of the biggest changes that have come to the SiteWorks program. I am just going to load uh, an instrument real quick or a, a rover, an emulator. We're not actually outside right now. Um, we'll change the rod height to 6.562. So at a glance, the main screen right here looks different than the other one um, in the respect that there's three different screens. It's in a way a lot like the Earthworks machine control program where you have different views on the screens and different options and the option to see the project in 3D in real time instead of just the plan view like you see on the right side right here. So those are some of the biggest changes. But just on this main screen right here, a lot of the things you see are exactly the same as the older program. We'll do a side by side in the next video, but you got your gear on the right right here, your zoom out, zoom in buttons. Um, the beauty of the, the data collectors now, and I'm, I keep saying TSC7, but if you have a T7 or an Android, the T5, you can just pinch and um, hold or pinch the screen in and out to zoom in and out just like you could with a phone. Um, on the right side right here, some of these other icons are the same. This box right here allows you to zoom in specifically, like over here in this corner right here, if I need to go there, I can click that box and then I can draw a box in that corner to zoom in very specific spots. You do need to remember to turn that back off. But if I'm over here and I need to see where I'm at, there's two different ones up here. One is to zoom just where you're at, which is this box right here. It zooms in where I'm at, but it stayed at the same um, elevation this 10 foot. This next one down zooms out the extents of the entire project. On the left side right here, the guy standing is where you would go in to change standing, walking. We'll explain those later on. Uh, I like to call this one the roller stuck in the mud. This is a quick access or a quick key into measure type. So the other thing that's really neat is there's some little tiny icons down here in each corner of these boxes you need to pay attention to. If you don't want to see everything in the three boxes like this, you just want the one view that's on the right. There's this uh, little arrow right here on the bottom left. If you hit that, it will make it one full screen for you. You don't have to be limited to those three boxes. Now, if you wanted a different view in this box, though, it's not like Earthworks where you touch and hold. What you would do is hit that arrow to bring those back over. And then there's these, uh, looks like two boxes with arrows pointing each different way. It's, it's a, an example of how you can move it to the right right there. So if this bottom left one, I want to actually see the 3D view, I can move it over. And then I could also do the same thing where I zoom out. Or excuse me, make it one full screen. Now if you want to zoom in on this, you can pinch and hold like I said with your fingers. Or since this is the emulator, I'm using a mouse. I'm going to hit this icon on the right the zoom one, and then I'm going to zoom in on the project. As soon as I get in about where I want, you can now, in SiteWorks, actually roll that to look at the model in a 3D view. So if you hit this one that looks like you can roll it in all different angles, now you can just grab the screen, touch and hold, and actually roll it. You can roll it and then zoom in on it even further to see what is going on exactly. And that pole right there is representing where I'm at on the project. 
This is a nice feature because I had used to do a lot of survey and I never had the 3D option. I had just plan view. So over here, if I didn't have a PRO file in, loaded in that showed me cross section on the left side over here where it's up, you can see the ups and downs. In plan view, you would have to just basically walk over until you got a cut fill to drop down. This, these grid lines right here, you can turn off with this icon on the right right here that shows the grid lines. You can turn that off to where it's more just like a heat map, if you will. Um, it just is very helpful when you're trying to see the dimensions and depths of the model itself with the colors. You can turn that back on. So Now, once you've done that, you can flip this back over. You can flip that in. But on these boxes on the left right here, these are individually customizable with the other arrow that's in the bottom corner to the left. So right now we've got a, a box in here that's basically showing what I would also see on the top ribbon here. If I drop that down, these are all the different options that are capable in this box itself. So I could put e-bubble in here. I could put cross-section, you name it. So I like to leave the info panel in that one because I will later on in other videos show you how to customize the top ribbon and customize that for different activities. But in the bottom left here, if you don't really need 3D slicer or 3D view, you can just put your e-bubble in here. So you don't have to be watching the bubble on the screen. Um, I will show you tilt compensating in another video also that may make it to where this doesn't matter as much. But just at a glance, wanted you to know what you're seeing here. And the 200 at the bottom here is I'm, I'm zoomed out to 200 U.S. survey feet. So now you can see 400, 200, et cetera, et cetera. That's what these are all meaning. This plus in the bottom right right here would be if I were to want to need to record a point. I can either hit that button to record the point, or if you have a keyboard like a TSC7, you can hit the enter button. Um, the T7 that is just a tablet, this is kind of your easiest button right here to record points. But this is SiteWorks at a glance. At the top right, you can see what battery power I have. Receiver battery power is 50%, and my controller is on external power. Um, this icon at the top right looks like kind of a cell tower is your correction source. It's going to give you the base name, which it says fake base because it's an emulator. And I've got a one second reception from that. So you can change the channel here without having to actually disconnect from the rover and reset it up. So you can change the channel. And then obviously the HZ and VT, my horizontal and vertical precisions. So it does tell you the 26 and the 49, but if you came in here, it gives you a sky plot and it also gives us settings to where we can change our horizontal position, pre precision um, at, when it's going to flash red or not. And this is also where we'll turn on tilt compensating in another video. But if you have never seen SiteWorks, I just want you to see the basics of what you can do with the different screens right here. Um, this top one also can be switched back and forth. Um, and inside this hamburger menu right here, or stack of papers, whatever you want to call it, is where our menu options are, which there again, I will break down every single one of these in other videos, but this is our main, main menu. So, but at a glance, this is Trimble SiteWorks. Thank you for watching this from SiteTech Intermountain.